Hey YouTube, this is Azima Boy, and today I want to share my progress on how I kill my Azima. Hmm, I found something new. Uh, to kill my Azima, especially my face first. Uh, my body I think overall is a bit rough, but then I do not feel that itchy. I've been controlling my diet. Uh, basically, I still eating lots of club, uh, carb and gluten, but then dairy like meal, I try to avoid it. And also some others very sugary stuff. Um, I've been trying this dead sea salt. Uh, on my face and all my body because I have cerebral dermatitis is more to a fungus infection you see the patches is more to cerebral dermatitis so cerebral dermatitis is overgrowth of fungus somehow people call it Melesisa I, I forgot the name it's, a, it's some types of fungus so According to one of the reddits, it says that if you mix water with dead sea salt and spread it all over your face and body, the conditions will get better over time. I try it. When I first use this dead sea salt, I have a burning sensation and according to the internet, it is normal. So I keep it on. Um, like two to three minutes to four minutes, then I wash it off. For now, it's a bit red and look like inflamed, but then I feel okay. Uh, it did not itch, and last two days I also tried to do an MT because, according to the Reddit, it says that if you use over moisturize your face and your face has cerebral dermatitis is you are giving the fungus to spread and the fungus love oily oily environment cream to grow so if you eliminate it and you do the dead sea salt uh, plants overall it will get better and tonight I also try this Awain Hydrant. Now my face look uh red, not that dry. If I didn't use this, my face will like a lots of flakiness and dry and red. Mm. I'm still having lots of uh entertainment eating some good food like spaghetti pasta i think i need to work on a diet be more strict and i eat lots of supplement like this melatonin to get me to have a better sleep thing to reduce the inflammation and also also try out all this stuff like stem cell can you see? Yeah. Overall, my conditions, I think, needs a lot of time. But then, uh, it's better than before because I did not, I, I do not itch that much. But then, my face is inflamed. Couldn't go out. Couldn't have like reunion dinner that much. It's a sad part. That is that is a sad part basically. So I'm not sure which like how many day I'm in in this journey on curing enzyme. But then I think it's possible. Uh besides I also try the uh the salt flush which I take about one liters of water mixed with two tablespoons of uh Himalaya salt and I wait for 30 minutes, massage, uh, massage my tummy 
after 30 minutes I go to the toilet boom look like uh, it looked disgusting lots of poop coming out I researched about it the salt and all many people doing it and it's safe you can google about salt flush uh, whatever water you want for now I'm plan this is my first day and I plan to do like three time per week so Monday I did Wednesday and Friday then Saturday Sunday is I gonna rest then I'm gonna see how how many weeks I'm gonna do for now I think the salt flush is pretty good because it trying to clear out all the bad stuff from the uh, GI tract and I hope that um, I could kill this eczema I think it's possible if I remain at this pace and fix my diet more strict on the food that I eat I think it's possible but then I'm not I, right now I'm trying to shorten the time trying to make it like uh, one month within one month my face will be be like normal but then I think that is highly impossible but then I think at least I want to give some hope into it try my best that's all for today if you have any comment if you have any experience curing uh, Subo Tomatitis remember to share your experience in the comment section below and that's all for today thank you